So, I guess this is it. Okay, we've got entirely different persons. Hello, Madeline. A tailor shop, huh? You think they've got anything in my size? A lost soul in need of saving, and you want to rob its place of business. Look at this dress I'm wearing. It's ruined. I figure I'm owed. Duty first, my host. Petty theft after. I'll see. The last host we knew had Madeline. Huh. Well, seems we're doing much the same job as Rosa and Joey. You know, locked. Well, can we be Madeline? Madeline, how about you go investigate for a while? If you could just wait here, my host. Uh huh. It's not like I got anything else to do. Although. Hello. Is anyone this time about? the door seems to be I boarded. am a friend. Nobody's there. We go. Zeus is playing tonight. If we hurry, we can catch him. Patience, my host. I sense a lost spirit here. We cannot leave our duty unfinished. Okay. Well, there's not much information to go on. It appears to be a coat of some kind. Hmm. Poster. So garish. Can we see what the poster is in more detail? No, I guess not. The notice reads, please ring bell for service. Well, I got the feeling that might help, but there's a bit of a problem with that, Madeline. I am incorporeal and unable to ring the bell. Yep, you got it right in one. So, well, the door to this place is boarded up. So, hmm. Won't budge. We might need to use a little bit of coercion here, let's say, with the brick. <laughs> the best kind! My host. Uh, don't worry. My host. We got this all planned, it's fine. Sorry, that you say worked something. nicely, I guess. Certainly nothing that matters any longer. Well, we found a way in. That's the important bit. Let's see if we can get some service in here. By which I mean a spook! I wonder if they call them spooks or if they call them something else. Danny? Danny, Danny someone's out front. front! Danny, where the hell are you? Sorry for the wait, ladies. My assistant seems to be... out. What can I do for you? Well... I guess if nothing else, he'd call himself a spook. How long are you going to stare at that thing? It's getting dark. Just one more. It has to be here. What are you doing, anyway? A man was murdered last night, in the middle of a major blizzard. Believe me, I remember. Right. So how come nobody else has? Hey? I've been checking on every local news website all day. There's not a single mention of it. I called the police myself. We know they know about it. They must have suppressed the news, but why? I'm sure the cops got their reasons. And they can keep them. I don't care who plugged the guy. I only care about what happened after. I know. So, the victim didn't have any identification on him. I was hoping a news report would give us his name, but it looks like we're on our own. Well, something familiar at least. Let's go talk to our pet cop. Maybe he knows something. Yeah, we're always kind of left to figure this stuff out on our own. And yeah, that thing happening with him we've kind of seen that before with Gavin but that's about it also as well, well actually gonna think of it we've got Rose's apartment but this is the first time it's been from this view like it's usually like we're looking from this wall as it were but now we can see a lot it's more a portrait stuff. of Joe Gould it used to hang in the Mineta tavern how did you get it? Did you that take it? The painting is almost 60 years old and was never taken care of much to begin with. I shouldn't move it. So as with all of the other games... This man's name is Danny Marconi. I only met him briefly as a very old man. Uh, as with the other games, we keep sort of little trophies of our past adventures. For months adventures. I expected the police to come breaking down my door. But it's been a year and nothing. Well that's good. Gavin Cord. Huh. I don't think we ever actually knew his surname. I think this is literally... I don't think I've ever somehow noticed this at any point I'm playing this, so th I think this is the first time I've realized his surname was Cord. I don't think that's really it's a picture of me in a former important or anything, but you know. Jeremy was a friend, kind of. I never did get to know him well. Not when he was alive, anyway. 
Well, not a friend, but a friendly acquaintance at least. And that's something. It's a poster for the film Water Under the Bridge. It starred Frank Lyons. You're just getting further and further back in the timeline at this grandmother point. Grandmother Patricia, my dad, and Auntie Lauren. I never met my grandmother. I don't think she was ever prepared for, well, this. It's interesting to like see the old, old art style from um, Blackwell Origins. No, what was it called again? Blackwell Legacy, the very first one. Um, it's kind of interesting to see it all again, like when you have it with art from the more recent the games. The last article I ever wrote, and the first ghost. Oh, I we ever can find saved. out what's her face's name, Joanne. Yes, so Joanne's the one who is having. No, wait. Was it Joanne? No. Yes? No. No, I don't think it was. Because that's Joanne. And this was the one who was... It doesn't matter. In any case, having spent like five minutes dicking around in this house... Thank God let's... the coffee stands are still open. I think I'm really going to need them. It's your dime, sweetheart. Uh, so... I just want to point out this shot. I mean, look at the water, look at the little car just again circling around back along with that. We can pretend it's different cars each time, but we know the truth. This guy is just like trying to get a good racing speed. Uh, but yeah, just look at that. And all the snow. Oh, it's so pretty. Anyway, let's head to the police station. Oh, hey! Oh, it's you. Had a feeling you'd swing by. That's why I've been standing here out in the freezing temperatures for like 20 minutes Detective? now. Uh-huh. Can we talk inside? It's freezing out here. Can't smoke inside, thanks to our friend the mayor. So you couldn't maybe, I don't know, not smoke for a while? Right. You found a Jane Doe at the Karth house, right? Yeah, what about it? Her name was Mary Meehan. She was an actress with the Gotham Collective Theatre Company. You're sure about that? Yes. I won't ask how you know that. But we'll check out that name and see if you're right. At the very least, we can locate the family and tell them what happened. Thanks. I guess we owe you another one. We're just so good at our jobs of, um, research. Yes. I caught the evening news today. There wasn't one mention of the Nothing murder man to do in with ghosts. That program hasn't been the same since they replaced that blonde anchor woman. Nobody else talked about it either. Not online, not any other news program. Nobody. You must have suppressed the news. Why? Because we're the cops, that's why. Look, before we, we take just this do this now point, and then, why it's kind of a so gag. What makes this murder more important than any other? Um, let's see. Well, I mean that's true, but might be extra difficult to say. This one's a little bit. Hmm. Let's I go was with that. There. You know, I was there. Surely I'm a suspect. You think I'm crazy? I made sure your name is nowhere near this thing. And unless oh. you give me a good reason, Aww, it thanks, stays Durky. that way. So tell me, Durky. why is this murder so important? Okay, let's try something else. He was looking for me. He was? Why? I don't really know. Uh-huh. Did you know the guy? No, I didn't. So, how did you know he was looking for you? Wait, let me guess. You just do. Something like More that. Or less. Something like that ain't good enough. He told us what else so. I'd say before he died, but that's a flat out lie. You know what? You just... trusted me before. Why can't you trust me again? Trust has nothing to do with it. Look, I don't know what your deal is. I've never asked, and frankly, I don't want to know. It's good. You've helped me clear a few cases. And once in a while, in return, I answer some of your questions. That's fine. Quid pro quo. It's not in the rule book. But it's how we get things done. But this case, it goes way up. We can't bring in anyone from outside. Not without a good reason. So give me one. Why is this murder so important? Um... You're the one who sent me there in the first place. That can't be a coincidence. So, you think we sent this guy to your location to... Yeah, I don't... What? I didn't see where that one was gonna go, but I, I was curious. I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. You don't get to ask me anything. You need to tell me why this murder is so important. I couldn't begin to explain it. It's more than just a murder, more horrible than just a killing. It's a uh, ghost any murder! On what that could be? It needs to be stopped, that's all. Sorry, I know we got an arrangement, but my hands are tied. 
fine, if that's the way it is. For what it's worth, it's nothing personal. You got other questions, I'm here. Just don't ask about this case. You get me? Yeah, I get you. Now, as with the other Blackwell games, at least some of them, the game keeps track of some sort of smaller, unusual details, and it'll tell you at the end of the game. So, for example, in um, Unbound, it was... Excuse me. In Unbound, it was uh, the number of times Joey got smacked in the face with Isaac's saxophone. And in uh, Deception, it was the number... Was it Deception? Yeah, in Deception, it was the number of times you got shot by the guy in the boat. Uh, this one keeps track of how many footsteps you leave. And there are different achievements, one for getting really very few footsteps um, made throughout the game, and there's another one for making a whole bunch of them. So if you want to go for that achievement, you can just sort of doodle around a little bit. Um, I don't imagine Joey will say anything here, because we've got good old ducks hanging out, but if you do that a lot, well, it's just Rowie and, Rowie and Joza. I'm getting closer. Joey and Rosa. Um, then... Uh, he'll just sort of come to him, why are you just dancing around like that? I don't really know. You really don't want to go in there. Oh, really? Look, you and I have an arrangement. I have to keep it quiet, but it works. You go in there and start bugging my colleagues, it will come back to bite both our asses. And neither of us wants that. <sighs> Correction. Okay, All three of our asses! Go, Joey, go! Keep our friend busy, I'm gonna sniff around. Although it won't be easy to bite a ghost's ass. Not that ass. I don't appreciate the company. But why the heck are you just standing there? Oh, no. um, I was just... <laughs> smooth, Rosa, it. smooth. Looks like some kind of duty roster. Nothing relevant. The brickwork. Sure. When was this building built? <laughs> I'm really tempted to just sort of stand here and listen to their conversation, but... I don't think it's no going to be much good. That's cops for you. I think there's also another achievement for, like, breathing on everyone you can. As bizarre a sentence as that is. See if we got anything on. Okay, we can't look at the monitor. A uh, modern gizmo, probably some kind of phone. It usually <laughs> it's is. It's usually a phone. That's the sort of thing. Like, with Rosa here, she'd be able to say, "Oh yeah, it's, it's a photocopier, but or a Xerox machine." That I guess. Says authorized it. personnel only beyond this point. Fortunately, mean, I think that only applies to living people. Beyond this point, you mean into the bottom are right the words now. Alex Silva, commissioner. Okay. Anyway, let's go be unauthorized people in here. Oh, who is this our friend from the night before? Aha! There's our guy. His name is George Austin, according to this note. Looks like he lived on the Upper West Side. So we've got a name, and we've got an That's address. That's definitely the spook we saw. According to this note, his name is George Austin. Well, he wasn't a spook for most of the time you saw him. Probably about half, actually, According to the nameplate, this desk belongs to someone named Disher. I have no idea who that could be. I wonder if that's According a to the nameplate, this desk belongs to someone named Piero. I have no idea who that could be. Nope, me neither. Uh, right, well, I guess we'd better just head on our merry, merry way. Now that we know all the information we're not meant to. Maybe. Uh, oh, I didn't hear the conversation, I'm afraid. I'm sure it would have been hilarious and delightful. Joey, get out here! I mean, uh, lovely weather we're having, officer. This is some no. lobby. Careful you don't break anything, we'll be in hock for life. Well, your life anyway, not mine. We'll be in hock for the afterlife, whatever the hell in hock means. Hi. Yes, miss? I'm looking for George Austin. Is he in? No, he's not. Sorry. I can tell you he's not in because he's dead. Do you know where George Austin is? I really couldn't say. Sorry. Is there any way I can look inside George's apartment? It's really important. Sorry. Unless you've been authorized, I can't let you in. Okay. That's a little unhelpful. Um... Can you tell us can anything you about tell him? me anything about George? I... really couldn't, sorry. If you want to know him, you should ask him yourself. A little difficult, seeing as he's both dead and... after dead. Does the name Grace mean anything to you? Sorry. Nobody named Grace lives here. Well... You've been about as helpful as this that vase has been. That place looks more expensive than everything in my apartment put together. Yeah, but it'd be harder to live in. In any case, I'm going to end this part here, guys. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you... I didn't actually do an introduction to this video. 
because this is technically the same recording as with part one. But in any case, thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you, well, I say soon, you never know with me. I'll see you in the future for part three of Let's Play The Blackwell Epiphany. I'll see you guys then. Goodbye.